in a bucket. No, ah, no, no. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year, vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let her stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow.
This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him... somehow. I can make morpheline. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. Fountain. in his office. 
I better get it back. The mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think... He much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? <laughs> bucket. Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I've got to move you someplace safe. Mommy's so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? I better not try to move her during the day. Everyone wants to stop. But have a chat.
it's going to be dark in here, darling. But when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. All right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Well, that was tedious. Attention all personnel, tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a Gentleman, starring the hilarious Michael China and Arthur Ashley. Don't mess this up for me. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's almost over. Who you're trying to fool, Mum? Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl.
Let's just lower this into the water. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. You'd never guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. I wonder if little Artie got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, We'd have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, 
bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maidenholm Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret! He has to. Margaret! Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! Better save this for when I need it. I'm playing with that. Sorry. Dear Margaret, I wish I could have... I'm playing with that. Sorry. Guess we'll meet in hell. Where the hell are they getting explosives?
Hey, you leaky scanner! 